we've been here before. Actually, yes, we have been here before, because it's been about a year since I reviewed the autonomous Mayo chair on the channel. And thank you to everyone who has tuned in for that video. It's actually gone on to become the most watched video on my channel to date. And everyone that has purchased using the affiliate code that's in that video's description has actually helped tremendously with the channel. So again, thank you to everyone for tuning in to that one. I figured this was a good opportunity to check back in with everyone and let you know how this chair has aged over the course of the past year. Now, if you're looking for more of the, uh, the spec-based information for this chair, I'm actually going to go ahead and throw a link up here, uh, or there, I forget exactly where it's going to be, but it'll link you back to my original review of the Mayo chair. That goes over more of the specifics of the dimensions and things like that. This is mostly going to be touching on things I have observed over the course of the past year. So we'll just start from the top and work our way down. The headrest, really the only thing I had any sort of even minor gripe with with the headrest was the amount of play that exists uh, when you're moving it side to side. But over the course of the past year, that movement really hasn't shifted at all. And all of the notches for all of the, the different steps of granularity for height adjustment still lock in place just fine. Um, so yeah, uh, really no gripes there at all. Even the mesh uh, that's pulled across the frame still feels basically brand new. Okay, so the backrest. The backrest was a bit of a point of contention in the comments for the original review, so I'm gonna address several things here. First of all, the build quality of the backrest is admittedly pretty good still. Uh, the one thing that I noticed over time is that the backrest isn't 100% straight on the chair. It's got a little bit of a tilt to it. I think that's probably uh, to do with some of the manufacturing tolerances for uh, the base for the chair. Um, it, it just, I, I can't get it to shift back over where it needs to go. Not ultimately a huge deal in my case. The mesh also still holds really taut across the entirety of the backrest, uh, still have the same issue with the lumbar support. It's nice when I can get it in place, but it slowly slides down over time. It's just a little annoying, not a deal breaker, but yeah, that's definitely still a thing. At the very least, it hasn't gotten worse. The main issue I've encountered with the backrest is the angle of incline when it's at its full forward positioning. Um, a lot of the commenters noted that you, um, you're leaning back kind of far in this chair, even with the back fully upright. And for some people, that may not be a problem. For me, over the short term, it wasn't a problem. But over time, I started to notice I was getting some shoulder pain. And after seeing a doctor about it and uh, trying a couple of things on my own, it occurred to me I probably have developed biceps tendonitis uh, from, from uh, just the way my body was positioned and the way my arm was articulating when I was uh, using my computer for gaming or something like that. Probably wouldn't have happened if I was a controller gamer. Probably wouldn't have happened if the dimensions of my body were a little bit different and my preferred seating position was a little bit different. But that happened with me. So it's something that you will definitely need to consider when making office chair purchases. Um, something like this may not be the best move for you, especially if you're prone to shoulder injuries in the first place. Now that said, there are some things I've been able to do to correct it. One of them is actually flipping the armrests around to the opposite side. As it turns out, this chair allows you to reverse the armrest positioning. Now, I'm doing that because these armrests at stock don't have X, Y axis adjustment. They only have Z height adjustment in about six or seven degrees of uh, positions of granularity. The problem with that is that in order for me to get to a decent seating position where I can support myself sitting upright, these armrests, even at full down position with the chair position where I need it to, to have a squared off frame so it's comfortable for me, I had, to, I had to do something. So it was either no armrest at all or try flipping them around. Thankfully it works, but you only get like one or two positions of upward adjustment on this before the arms start to collide with the backrest. So 
Just keep that in mind. If the armrests aren't working for you, you can try flipping them around. If that doesn't work, you are able to fully remove them and still use the chair. Now, the seat cushion actually became something of a point of contention. You can see I've got my own little cushion uh, sitting on this right now. This cushion is remarkably firm. Uh, so much so that in recent history, it started agitating uh, a kind of unfortunate health issue that I've had crop up on me. This chair that I'm sitting in right now is not doing me any favors either. But, huh, see what I did there? This seat cushion, uh, for all of its durability and as well as it's held up over time, it really didn't break in anywhere near as much as I was hoping it would. So that combined with the lack of tilt adjustments, with the lack of um, in and out adjustments, you, you're left with a really niche seat cushion where if you really, really like a firm seat and you don't have a prevailing health concern that a seat bottom like this would agitate, you will be fine. But if you wind up developing some kind of health concern that requires something a bit more compliant, you will need to get a seat cushion. Now, that said, I did do some shopping around recently. I looked at a couple of seat cushions in a sub $40 pricing bracket. Um, really, <clears throat> after trying this one by Purple, I really can't recommend any other seat cushion out there apart from this one. It's small, it's easy to travel with, it's super comfortable, and it doesn't agitate my problems that I have right now. It also happens to fit perfectly within the confines of MyoChair seat cushion. So purple and autonomous is definitely a solid recommendation here. And of course, I will have links to this down in the video's description if you wanna check this out for yourself. It's not an affiliate link, it's just me you know, spreading the good word, as one should do. Since we're on the topic of a, uh, a more compliant chair, uh, because of this seat cushion, I'm actually able to enjoy the leg rest a lot more as well, which is really nice, especially if I wanna just recline this in the living room where we have this set up and just watch something on the big screen next to the computer. It's a great, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a great solution for that now. Nothing else super exciting with the chair though. The piston's still holding pressure just fine, no leaking there whatsoever. All of the adjustment mechanisms are still working just like they did fresh out of the box. The casters for this are also still holding up pretty reasonably well, but there's a small problem with the casters and this is from the perspective of someone who is a pet owner. We have two cats in our house. So there's literally always cat fur hanging around, like there, you can't avoid it. So when I took these casters off to try and clean them, I very quickly discovered that these are all press fit uh, caster assemblies. You can't pull the wheels apart from this without breaking it, at least not as far as I can see. Someone please comment down below if there is a way to safely disassemble these and get them back together for proper cleaning. Now, as I didn't have the time or the wherewithal to actually research whether or not there was a safe way to take these apart, I went a slightly different route. I actually got some replacement furniture casters from a brand called AMZ Deal. I'll have links for these down in the video's description as well. But they're basically polyurethane rollerblade style casters. And I gotta tell you, as nice as the stock casters felt for this chair, these ones are totally next level. You feel almost zero imperfection in whatever floor you're on. So if you have like a laminate or hardwood floor that has a sort of uneven texture across the panels, this does an amazing job of damping those out. Now, the one thing you're going to want to remember when you're installing something like aftermarket furniture casters or getting a butt cushion for your office chair, all of those things are going to change the dimensions of either the chair or you sitting in the chair. Like this cushion is adding a little bit of height, so it very slightly shifts how I'm resting against the backrest, where I have to put the headrest, armrest, the little things like that. The casters will similarly influence how you have to adjust the piston on the chair to get your feet in a comfortable seating position for you. So just keep all of that in mind. And if it's gonna add too much height, maybe shop around for some other options 
out there or maybe see what else you would need to do to accommodate getting that aftermarket replacement. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Uh, I am happy to say that my own chair in general has held up reasonably well over the course of the past year. My original recommendation still stands. If you're looking for a super inexpensive, well-built office chair to get you going, and you're okay with the incline of the seat back, and you're okay with a firm seat cushion, Myo Chair is a great buy. And with the few modifications I've made here to make it my own chair, it's actually made up for some of the deficiencies that in this case aren't really the fault of the chair and it's not necessarily my fault either it's just i need things that this chair can't necessarily provide and i'm hopeful that the next chair that i get in will be able to correct some of these issues so if you like what you saw make sure you hit that thumbs up button get subscribed and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time i upload fresh content and i'll catch you all next time so take it easy